Welcome to the first episode. Take three second, but first episode of the Honda Fit Build Series. This is where I take my daily driver 2011 Honda Fit Sport and turn it into the ultimate daily driver machine. Welcome to episode 7 of the Honda Fit Build Series. Today's episode is a great one. We are working on our safety and we're working on pumping the brakes, my friends. Yes, I am installing a big brake kit on my Honda Fit. If you watched the first episode of the Honda Fit Build Series, I went over a parts overhaul, showed you guys what I got for the Fit, and one of the things that I showed you was my DPHA Willwood four piston brake caliper kit. And I'm gonna reiterate this again. Yes! You can run the Type R Mini Cooper Rotor. You, as a content creator, you gotta bring shock value so you go shock the damn algorithm. You feel me? So we're gonna run a four piston big brake kit on the Honda Fit today. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Excuse the noise, but here's everything that we're going to be installing on the fit today. We got our stainless steel stop tech brake lines. We got our brake pads. We got our four piston calipers. I had these on my case swapping tech as my first like brake upgrade, and these worked phenomenal. So for having a daily driver fit, I'm pretty sure this is gonna do more than enough. And if you're trying to get frisky on like a nice back road or something, I know I'm taking care of. And I know I won't have any spongy brake lines because we have the stainless steel StopTech brake lines. I also ordered some new blanks. I got some power stop blanks off Rock Auto. Bro, I bought these for $16 a side. $16 a side for some power stop rotors. So I don't want no slotted. I don't want no drilling slotted because those, uh, uh, they look cool, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan. I just like my blanks calling it a day. So we have everything we need to make this install process quick, simple, and easy. The only thing I don't have is a homie to help me bleed brakes. My girlfriend is not a fan of bleeding brakes. Started by removing the brake hard line from the brake line hose, which with a 10 millimeter wrench, you want to use a flare nut wrench, but I did not have a flare nut. So I just use a regular standard 10 millimeter and it worked in my favor. And you see the bolt with the ear next to it on the left side of it. You want to remove that as well because that brake line is held onto the chassis by that 10 millimeter bolt. You have two 17 millimeters that hold on the caliper to the spindle. You start by, you remove those two and you also have a, I believe a 14 millimeter that holds the brake line to the caliper. I think it's a 12 or 14. I can't remember, but you remove that and then there you go. Everything is off. And then you take the rotor. If your rotor has screws, remove the rotor screws and then remove the rotor. And then there you go. You are now a mechanic. Yeah, man. Big man, teen, and a brother. Yeah, my kind of yard, man. The mounting brackets on the StopTech lines do not actually fit, but they fit, if that makes sense. You see that hole above right here? That's where this little ear is supposed to mount into. So the, the mounting bracket is supposed to look somewhat 
or actually like this mounting bracket right here. This is how the mounting bracket is supposed to look. We take a look at what they sent us, well, what I bought, because that's actually all the kits for the Honda Fit from 2009 to 2013 look exactly like this. So you're just gonna have to full send that board in there, make that ear tab straight, and then whenever you wanna take this part out, you gotta loosen that just to remove that. That's how I see fit. And uh, yeah, not, not the best, <laughs> literally not the best, but uh, it'll work. It'll work for what we gotta do. So we have brake clean right there. So with the brake clean, we're gonna brake clean all this stuff down, put on the new rotor, brake clean it, then slap on our caliper, brake pads, and then attach the brake line, of course. But then we're pretty much done with the side. It's a fairly straight simple process. If you made it this far in the video, I probably didn't do the uh, voiceover work because it's just, it's probably just simple stuff, man, honestly. Like, I don't think the, I think with, given my circumstances and how I'm doing this, um, especially with the lighting, this thing right now is not being my best friend. Um, it just makes it, it just makes it easier if I just like, time lapse me installing everything and then give you guys my review once I go driving and bleeding and all that stuff and you know taking the crispy photos and all that stuff so yeah I'm sorry about that y'all I gotta get my game up player Both the driver and passenger side brake system is complete, except we have to bleed. I have the one man brake bleeder kit. We're gonna actually try this out. Maybe it'll work for me. I've never had luck with these because I am not the smartest, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot today because I don't have no help. So we're gonna figure out what we can do and hopefully get our brakes to work, so. Yeah, so that kit is absolutely garbage. So I called, I called a homie and he's on his way. So once he gets here, we'll be able to finish up all this stuff. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that look good. Look at them central blink, playboy. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And it clears the OEM wheel, which is great. Two and a half months that we had the fit. We got wheels and tires. We have a big brake kit. We have an HPS intake system. We have all new headlights. Uh, JDM emblems, two sets of JDM tail lights. We have an RSB, which is a rear sway bar. We have the spork mirrors. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got the hybrid racing shifter. We got detent springs. We got shifter cable bushings. We are transforming a Honda Fit one video at a time. Man. Hold it. Even with stock wheels, the wheel wood's clear. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go do this driving review and see how our new brakes feel. All right, we filming on the iPhone, baby. 
my camera died, my GoPro, no, my GoPro died, my camera doesn't have the right lens on it, so I can't give you guys a nice wide angle. And the iPhone quality look kind of good right now, but yo, the, bro, if you, ever, if you guys ever drove a stock fit with like no brake, like just a basic stock ass fit, and you decide to throw like the wheel woods on, like dude, this thing stops like, bro, it's perfect. I love this thing. I love this thing. Stops on a dime, and I think I messed up. I got an internal aim because there's a U, a bend over there where you can come out this way because I got to go that way. And every time I get in this lane, these lights finally go yellow. These lights never, ever go from green to yellow to red. Them shit stay green, fam. So every time I get in this lane, those light, the, that light decided to finally go. Um, oh, look, I can go. Yay. Now watch. Watch when I watch when I come back around. That shit's gonna be yellow for me. Oh, you hear that intake? Forty miles an hour, hit the brakes. That shit stops. What I tell you? What I tell you? It never fails. It never fails. Every time I get here, that's what happens. Never fails. But yo, them brakes and air all my shit flying, fam. Water probably leaking. Oh no, it's not leaking. Nice. Dude, it's crazy. These brakes feel fan freaking tastic, fam. Like, dude, these things feel great. I have the Willwood pads on. Like they're like, I think like daily street pads. Like nothing too crazy of a bite, but like they dude, this thing feels amazing. I'm going 20 plus 40. Time to break. Zosh, break. Bro, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm going to hit the brakes now. Crazy. Dude, this thing feels so good. <laughs> People are going to ask me, yo, Zosh, was the Will Woods worth it? They was worth it on my Integra. I had like, I think three track days or maybe four. I think I had like four track days on the Will Wood kit with my K24 powered Integra. And I had no issue besides like brake fade due to the uh, brake fluid I was running, but I never had any issues. Cause like I was still learning how to drive on the track and everything, but I never had any issues like that. Like once I was progressing as a driver, uh, I still stayed on the Woods and I never had any issues. So having only 90 horsepower on my Honda Fit, I'm not gonna have any issues with braking like at all. Plus they look good. I really did it for the shock value. I cut just like I said, I could have did like a whole video like, oh, how to have a big brake kit for under X amount of dollars. I probably would have gotten good enough views. But like, I like the Willwood kit, man. Like, it's just straightforward. You can run the same rotors. Yeah, bigger rotor is cool and all, but it's heavier. Um, and, you know, running OEM style rotors with a nice four piston brake caliper. That's that's money, bro. That's where it's at. So there's no issue on that department when it comes to uh, the Willwood kit. If you want to buy it, I would say, yeah, dude, buy it. Like, this is not sponsored, of course, even though, even though you got to disclose that now because people think, oh, you're trying to sell them something. Buy whatever the fuck you want to buy. You feel me? But like, if you want to buy the Willwood kit and you want to know somebody who's running it and has ran it with no issues, then yeah, I'm your boy, dog. You feel me? All right. I got to Oh, shit. Time to get off my phone. I'm going to catch y'all laters.